Here is a radio radiologist CTU of a disease process in which on this CT slice of the thorax chest, you could see a lot of irregular uh, tumor nodules, uh, uh, perhaps in both lungs, perhaps a little bit more in this one, uh, that appear to uh, be considerably bulky. And instantly you know this is some kind of tumor, perhaps in the uh, lymph nodes, perhaps in the lung, perhaps in both. Um, you probably would not suspect this was metastatic because most of the tumor appears to be localized in this area rather than stippled throughout the lungs in general. So if you slide down the uh, CT scanner a little bit and you move down to the abdomen, maybe you can see something else. And you can, you could see a liver, classical. You could see that there are subtle areas of uh, lucencies within this liver all over the place. So uh, we have widespread metastases in the liver, but in the lung, it looks like the uh, tumor is localized to the, um, the hilar regions. So let's get out the old microscope and let's look at a lung. Let's take a nice little slice lung and I want to show you something really cool. Uh, you could see uh, here that this is a large bronchus instantly but you want to know what else you could see? You could see that the uh, mucosa to this bronchus is totally intact isn't it? It's hardly even metaplastic. It looks like it's just normal stratified squamous. So if there's a massive tumor at least in this area it Although it may be involving and infiltrating the bronchus and the surrounding lung, it probably did not arise there. Uh, let's look at some of these tumor cells, like this might be a good place. And we could see that they are small cells. Uh, they have uh, most of their body is nucleus. There's very little cytoplasm. Here's an area in which they are clustering perhaps around a blood vessel. So you know it's rapidly growing. And uh, here's another area slightly away from the bronchus in which there's extensive necrosis. And in some areas you could make out uh, residual viable tumor cells. But in this area, the whole uh, tumor is necrotic. And here the tumor cells are not necrotic. And here the tumor is necrotic again. And here's an area of calcification. And here are some tumor cells. They are small cells. They look like lymphocytes actually, uh, but they're extensively necrotic. And this is a small cell carcinoma. These are neuroendocrine cells. And uh, they do have relatively small nuclei relative to the non-small cell carcinomas. In other words, squamous, adeno, and large cell. And there's very little cytoplasm and there's a lot of necrosis. And there is so little cytoplasm, there's a feature of small cell called nuclear molding in which the nuclei appear to mold to each other uh, because they are very, uh, they would be imagined as being quite fragile. So here's nuclear molding, here's necrosis in which you're just looking at basically ghosts of most of the tumor cell. Here's a viable area. And they are small, they have minimal cytoplasm. They're as malignant as all hell. This is the uh, rap most rapidly growing, worst prognostic uh, primary lung cancer. The good news is it's the most treatable with chemotherapy. Let's look at another area, uh, perhaps, well, I don't know exactly what we're going to look at now. Uh, is it possibly going to be a liver, a bone, or more lung? Ah, it's more lung. I think it's more lung. Or is it bone? Uh, I think it's bone because you could see generated spicules here. So this tumor has metastasized to the bone as well. And the cells look very much like they did in the liver in that they have very small uh, nuclei. Uh, they have uh, extensive necrosis. You can see that here. And uh, just to keep me honest, let's find another area which we called nuclear molding in which the nuclei 
kind of bent or conformed to each other to form kind of a ball like they do here and they do here. Let's look at another slide. Uh, perhaps from more bone or perhaps from a liver or who knows what. And we will see uh, quickly, hopefully, in this area as well, that it looks like this may possibly be a liver on top because I think I can see some residual hepatic cords here. And you'll agree there are hepatic cords here. But all of the stuff surrounding it is exactly like the stuff we saw in the uh, bone and in the lung. This is metastatic small cell carcinoma. From low power, you might think it's a lymphoma or a diffuse chronic inflammatory process, but uh, it's small cell carcinoma. Here's a piece of tissue underneath it. I don't know where it's from, but maybe we could figure it out by just looking at it quickly. Uh, they're certainly loaded with tumor. There's certainly a lot of um, fibrous tissue in this as well. And quite frankly, I don't know where this is from. But you can see tumor nests out here. You can see necrotic tumor here. You can see viable tumor here. You can see fibrosis all along here. You can see little nests of tumor in these spaces as well. This is a typical behavior of a small cell carcinoma, formerly called oat cell, that is very, very, very aggressive. Thank you very much.